Fala pessoal, sejam bem-vindos a esse bate-papo aqui de hoje uh, A gente vai fazer uma conversa um pouco diferente geralmente do que a gente faz quando a gente entra ao vivo assim é, Dos nossos podcasts, dos nossos, nossos, nas nossas lives aqui do canal do YouTube Que é fazer uma proposta de um bate-papo 100% em inglês Hoje vai ser bem legal, hoje vai ser bem importante, é só a chance aí de dar uma testada no seu ouvido E eu queria passar alguns avisos iniciais para vocês uh, Pra gente poder começar da melhor forma possível as matrículas para o nosso portal de estudos de inglês, o Nauer, seguem abertas. É, a gente abre matrículas para o Nauer algumas vezes no ano, algumas poucas turmas no ano, e essa semana agora que você está assistindo isso aqui, as matrículas para o Nauer estão abertas e vão ficar abertas só essa semana mesmo. Só essa semana mesmo. Inclusive, hoje, que é, hoje que é quarta-feira, o dia que a gente está gravando, a gente decidiu passar a disponibilizar uma condição nova de matrícula para que você possa estar tá na nossa plataforma de fluência em inglês Uh, ainda essa semana, que é a condição de 24 vezes no boleto. Então, se você está assistindo isso aqui ao vivo agora e não sabia, atendendo a pedidos, que foram muitos pedidos de parcelamento no boleto, a gente decidiu disponibilizar, então, a matrícula para o portal Nowhere em até 24 vezes no boleto. E essa condição de até 24 vezes no boleto está super tranquila, se eu não me engano, está uns 90 reais por mês. Tá, assim, não conheço um curso de inglês que você vai poder que você vai fazer 24 vezes se você quiser e vai ficar 90 reais então tá bem tranquilo mesmo uh, isso está sendo possível através de financiamento estudantil então é sua chance de aproveitar essa, aproveitar essa oportunidade legal que a gente está disponibilizando para você ter acesso a tudo que você precisa para chegar na fluência vai ser um prazer acompanhar vocês lá dentro do portal o link de matrículas é o primeiro na descrição logo abaixo desse vídeo onde você está aqui assistindo então, logo abaixo aqui do vídeo do YouTube, uh, você consegue ter acesso à página de matrículas. Mas, para garantir, eu vou deixar aqui também no chat, tanto no chat da galera que está assistindo pelo Facebook, quanto no chat do YouTube, eu vou deixar o link de matrículas para que vocês possam acessar. Beleza? Então, uh, vamos, vamos agora, que, agora que eu já falei um pouco. Então, sejam bem-vindos a esse bate-papo. Eu sou o Vinícius. Eu sou o Arthur. E vamos trocar uma ideia aí sobre os benefícios de se aprender inglês aí. Have a really nice conversation. So this is the first time actually that, that we're doing this. Though we've been recording classes and recording videos for YouTube for a while now. Maybe like one year and a half together. One year together. This is the first time that we're going to do it 100% in English. So looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, do you want to introduce yourself to those that don't know you? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I, the good thing about my name is that it has its own pronunciation in English. So my name is Arthur. Yeah. Per perks um, that you don't share with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For those who want to, to refer to me in English. Actually, my name is English originally. Um, well, my name is Arthur and uh, I'm, one of the teach I'm one of the teachers here. Um, I work with the music together for like a year and a half, nearly two years now. And, um, and, and I'm, I'm really excited about this conversation. I, I, I think we, we actually took too long to do this, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and actually it was because um, we wanted everybody to be able to enjoy what we were producing. So uh, I, we're well aware that when we do such things, it's not everyone that is really able to understand and enjoy what we're saying so i think that's the main reason that we haven't done this before yeah yeah well but um yeah but for those who have um like at least the 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 slightest notion of the english language it's going to be their opportunity to, to test their listening skills as you said yeah. and uh and honestly, your chance to test um, yourself Yes, yes, and honestly, this here is, um, you know, we're not doing this to show off, you know, <laughs> we're yeah. doing this just to, <laughs> um, just to show you guys um, that, that it, it is 100% possible, because there was a moment in our lives that um, we were not fluent, you know, there was a moment in our lives that we didn't know English, uh, at least not in the same way we do now, um, and uh And, and we saw our evolution and the evolution of so many people that study with us. And we want you guys to know two things. First of all, it is possible. It is yeah. 100% possible. We were seeing it. We've been seeing it happen like for, for two, three years now that we work with this. 
And uh, not only is it possible, but it's absolutely necessary. I mean, yeah. Now I, I say necessary because let's let's um, let's differentiate two terms here. There are necessary things and vital things. I'm not saying it's vital. You know, you're not gonna die if you don't know English. But you know, unless you need help in the U.S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're thrown in a speaking country and you know nothing, then you're <laughs> gonna die. But um, when, when I say it's not vital, it's because you don't need it to survive. But in light of what we have experienced, you know, just by knowing the English language, now I say that I wouldn't have lived half or 75% of what I've lived if I didn't know English. So to me, to, you know, in light of all the things that I've done in my life and you as well, mm -hmm. knowing English is absolutely necessary. So nice hook. Uh, lights are hooked. Let's talk about the benefits and the perks of it. And but actually, this is the main purpose of this conversation to talk about to talk about the the benefits of learning English. And I, I want to start that that off by talking about entertainment, which is something that uh, I think it's it's something that really has it's something that's had a really huge influence, at least on me, because. Uh, I mean, if you follow Brazilian YouTube channels or Brazilian blogs, uh, Brazilian influencers on social media, on the internet, or anything like that, uh, you must know that this is not even like, uh, not even like the slightest, the tiniest minimum amount of entertainment and people to follow and things to watch that you're able to find in English. And um, I was comfortable uh, watching content and uh, getting used to be be involved by by content in Portuguese because it's really comfortable. It uh, I feel that I I'm in my comfort zone when I'm doing that. But when I when I found out that people are even sometimes even they are, they're even funnier in in English and they have some sort of sense of humor that we're not used to finding in Brazil, in Portuguese. So the, the first thing that I want to talk about is about entertainment, things to laugh about when you're watching, when you're reading or listening to in English, like YouTube channels, uh, influencers on social media, blogs, and not, not even, not only on the internet, but on TV as well, like Jimmy Fallon, which is a great TV host. Jimmy Fallon and other TV hosts out there that that don't translate their content to Portuguese, you know. So yeah. it's it, it's a world that you uh, uh, he who doesn't speak <laughs> that uh, I'm kind of Shakespearean right now. So it's it's a world that he who doesn't speak English doesn't even know that it exists. Yeah, yeah, they won't have any access to it. If um, it's yeah. like a key that opens doors, you know, since you're all yeah. there. Um, you're talking about Jimmy Fallon, and yeah. uh, you know, um, interestingly enough, I mean, I don't know if that's a coincidence or destiny, but you know, I knew who Jimmy Fallon was, but I had never seen, I had never watched, I had never listened to him till last week. Uh, because, uh, you know, I watched that, that, you know, that show Breaking Bad, I watched it like years ago and then I wanted my wife to see it as well. And we watched it. We've been watching it for like nearly five months because when you have a baby, you can't, you know, do any marathons or anything yeah. like that <laughs> One a day, sometimes half an episode a day. Um, but then we, <laughs> we finally finished it. And uh, when we, uh, and whenever I finish a series, you know, I like to watch interviews with the actors. You know, I avoid all that before I finish. Opinion it. vlogs, I love them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't do reviews, it, uh, like, you know, throughout the watching process because yeah. I'm I'm scared of spoilers. But when yeah. I finish it, I always watch interviews and all. And uh, Jimmy Fallon, he has this. Um, I mean, he he's he's amazing. Uh, but there's this part of his show in which he does some, you know, uh, uh, impersonation of um, of uh, TV series, mm -hmm. and uh, wow, it, it is. It is. I, I mean, 
I laughed so hard, and I and I and I was thinking with myself: if I didn't have English knowledge, I wouldn't have been able to watch Breaking Bad in English, and I would have missed most of what they say in terms of jokes, in terms of you know, there are a lot of explanations that they give that only make sense in English, and yeah. I wouldn't have been able to um, to understand you know the impersonation that Jimmy Fallon did. So uh, yeah, there's that. You don't have access to a 75% of the internet and TV if you don't know English, you know? Actually, there is, uh, there is, a, there, there is some data on that matter. I think that, I, I don't remember the exact number, to be honest, but I think it was like 55% of the content on the internet is in English. And 55. only 2%, 55, yeah. Because uh, uh, people from many countries, even countries that doesn't, countries that don't have English as their main language, they produce content to the internet in English. Like like in Brazil, we have Brazilian influencers posting and what and recording content in English. So yeah. that number increases a lot. But in Portuguese, it was close to two percent. Two percent. Picture that. I mean, th there's a lot of things in, in Brazil. A, a lot of things from Brazil in Portuguese on the internet, and it's just like two percent of it. And that's that's kind of astonishing when I figured that out. And you were talking about jokes when when you're watching. You know, there's this new TV show out there, Arcane, on Netflix. Uh, this, it's based on the game League of Legends, which is something that I've been playing for some time now. Well, yeah, and I, cool. yeah. So uh, it's been ten years waiting waiting for anything uh, from like this League of Legends world. What? It's it's on air already. It's already on yeah movie. yeah. It's on Netflix and it just um, it just took over uh, round sixes. Uh, it's, it's not round six. It's round six is the Brazilian name. Squid Game. Squid Game's uh, post of like best launch ever on Netflix and uh, Arcane was even better for Netflix in terms of numbers. Like it was a it was number one. In over 38 countries on their first day, so it was amazing. And and the show is awesome. Like, just for having something that was produced based on the League of Legends world, it's amazing enough for me. But uh, there's this character, Jinx, mm -hmm. and her name is Jinx. But actually, her name when she was a child was Powder, which is fun. Uh, which which is Powder. interesting. Not. Powder, yes, which is fun because she, she, yes, because she gets to uh, use guns when she grows up. So her uh -huh. name, her name when she was a child was Powder, which is some sort of like <laughs> in advanced knowledge about the character. But uh -huh. Powder is her actual name, and when when she grows up, she starts using the name Jinx instead. And uh, we never knew what, why her name was Jinx, because Jinx is uh, is a term that means like something that destroys, something that yeah. causes problems, something that jeopardizes uh, what you want to do. So during uh, during the show, we f we find out why her name is actually Jinx, which is uh, because she she, uses, she usually jeopardizes uh, the missions that like her sister and their fellows they they try to do anything and. Jinxes, uh, Jinx messes it all up, and sometimes they say, "My God, you always spoils everything. You're a Jinx. You always Jinxes. You always you always Jinx everything." And that's why she starts using the name Jinx because everybody says that she's a Jinx. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know how they dubbed it in, into Portuguese, but I'm pretty sure that the joke is gone mm -hmm. because why is it like? Ah, você, você causa problemas, você sempre atrapalha tudo. Ah, okay, yeah. agora meu nome é Jinx. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense in Portuguese, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, let me just, let me just, I think your camera is glitching. With my camera, yeah, because it's, uh, it's in the extension here, but I think it's good now. No, and you were talking about Jinx, you know, there is this uh, episode of How I Met Your Mother. You haven't watched it whole, yeah, right? Just a few, a few isolated episodes. Yeah, no, the, there's this episode, um, and the name of the episode, the title of the episode is Jinx. And uh, the plot is this. Um, 
there is kind of a curse that is put upon people that miss uh, like very interesting or a, a very, let's say, rare situation. So just uh, wait, let, there's something wrong with my camera. Let me just yeah. fix it and I'll be back uh, in one sec. Just give me one. All right. He'll be soon, but he'll be back soon. So as I was saying, um, this 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 pun about the name Jinx, it's not the first time that I've seen it happening in English, and I thought, this is absolutely not going to make any sense in Portuguese when they translate it in like, into Portuguese or into any other language. And sometimes you miss out on jokes and puns and even explanations on what is happening, explanation on, on what is happening throughout the series that they weren't able to translate to Portuguese because it needed the English language. So sometimes, like, picture, picture your favorite movie, your favorite movie, TV show, or TV series. Probably there is, uh, there is something about this show, about this movie, or uh, whatever, that you... I'm just, I'm just finishing a thought. It's finishing some thought here. Some thought here. Uh -huh. Probably there's something about this show that you don't know. Uh, some fun fact, some information that you don't know about this show of yours that you love, that you just you don't know just because it wasn't translated to Portuguese. So uh, I was talking about things that they aren't able to translate. Mm -hmm. Because they specifically need the English language to make sense, you know? Yeah. No, it, it, I was uh, actually when um, we didn't change the subject at all. When I was uh, I was going to I was going to tell you about an episode of um, How I Met Your Mother. The name of the episode is Jinx, like that's the name of the League of Legends character, and. <laughs> And the plot of the episode is this. Let's say that something fun or something rare happens. So, um, for example, uh, somebody is running around on the street naked. And okay. everybody saw it but you, you know? You didn't see it. You're jinxed. It means that you're cursed. Now, that, now okay. every time that something fun or something rare happens, um, you're, you're going to miss it. You're not going to be in the room. You know, so that's the plot of the episode. Sorry. When, when the person just, is, just interrupting, huh? <laughs> interrupting you just real quickly. Uh, uh, there's a comment uh, by Ivan Eiji on YouTube. She said, "As Fausto said, who knows does all you? <laughs> <laughs> who knows does all you? <laughs> yeah." <laughs> Very good, very good. Uh, Sorry, I, I couldn't. I, I, <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Who knows it? Who knows it does it lie, right? Yeah, um, yeah. But well, anyways, um, so that's the name of the episode because of the plot, and mm -hmm. uh, the name of the curse, Jinx, makes sense because of the meaning of the word in English. You know, so if you, I don't know how they translated it to Portuguese. Actually, it's no idea. Say. It's been a long time since I last saw something dubbed, but um, and I, and I'm, again, we're not saying things like that because it sounds like we're showing off. You know, it's it's not the case. It's just uh, it became part of our lives. You know, um, there are situations that we, and th th that's fun because um, uh, at, at this stage in my life, there are situations in which I I don't even think of. I'm listening to this on this or that language, you know. Uh, I'm 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 listening to it in Portuguese or in English. I even forget sometimes mm -hmm. uh, what language it was. So, um, well, most likely it was English because most of the content, uh, most of the contents that I consume. But um, but but yeah, it's it, it's a whole world that it's like Aladdin says, right? A whole new world. That yeah. you that you will come to have access to if you just you know learn the language, and um, yeah, that's entertainment. Um, yeah, well, there's so much more that we could talk about, but do you think we should talk about another aspect of life now? That English. Yeah, language? I do actually. Um, we, could, we could talk about traveling, which is something that there are many. Uh, there there is some sort of public knowledge about how. If, like traveling to abroad is supposed to work 
that people don't know what it actually feels like when you do it. And what I mean with that is that many people wait to learn, to study English, and they hope to learn something by traveling abroad. Like, um, yeah, because some people, say, some people say that if you spend eight weeks abroad, that's equivalent to two and a half years of studying, studying in Brazil, you know? A few weeks out there abroad means as much as many months studying, studying in Brazil. And that not only is not true, but it actually it works exactly uh, the other way. Like, if you... Yes, it, it can happen to you if you've done it before in Brazil. What I mean by that is if you are... If you're just scratching the language, you're doing your first steps, you're having your first steps with the language, you're likely to not enjoy your your travel, your whatever, your studies abroad as much as you're expecting. Because it, it is really hard to learn English from scratch when you're abroad. And because no one is going to help you out as much as you feel like they are going to. And if you have no... If you have no comprehension of what is happening around you, you, you don't have someone who speaks Portuguese to help you out, just translate it to Portuguese and then you're good. So if you're hoping to travel abroad, hoping to study abroad, study English abroad, whatever, do it first here. Learn English here first, then you go abroad. You will be able to enjoy so much more your, your experience abroad because uh, you're gonna look at a public sign, for instance, uh, on the street, and then maybe there is a new word there. But the, when you look at that traffic sign, there is a new word, but the rest of the sentence, the rest of the context, you can't understand. So that new word makes sense to you because you know the context, you know the rest of the phrase. And when you don't know anything at all, so you're not going to learn, you're not going to learn this new word because the context around it doesn't make any sense to you. So that is something that people don't, don't, people don't know, they don't come to realize about what learning English in Brazil before traveling looks like. What are your, your thoughts on that matter? Whenever somebody says something like that to me, I always think about Starfire, the character from Teen Titans, you know? Starfire? Um, Starfire, yeah. That's, that's her name? Mean. That's her name? Yeah, in English, yeah. Actually, I just looked it up because... Um, do, 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 do. Starfire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Eternal jokes. Um, yeah. Starfire is an alien. She comes from yeah. another uh, planet. And um, so how come she speaks the language? Uh, it's because her species... You know, uh, they have this special ability that when they have like lip contact with another species, with a being from another species, they automatically absorb the language. So the first thing that Starfire does when she comes to our world uh, is kissing Robin. Just so realizing, she... just realizing that if yeah. if if I were part of that species, uh. I would only speak Portuguese, definitely. <laughs> if my if my ability to learn languages relied on my ability to kiss a stranger <laughs> I'd, no. I'd, I'd be doomed <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, can I joke please maybe I you wouldn't have been able to speak well anyway um, uh, the, the, the thing is <laughs> the thing is um I, I, the, the, why, why am I, why am I throwing, throwing this example on the table? That's obvious. Most people think that they're going to, you know, go to the United States, kiss around, and, you know, learn the language. I, I wonder what people think is going to happen if they go there not knowing a word, okay? Now, they're going to pass through customers. They're going to pass through... Uh, first of all, they're going to need uh, to... Um, to, to, to they're gonna to need to be interviewed by the embassy, right? Yeah. That's that's problem number one. It starts in Brazil, you know. 
But of course, sometimes people just, they, they just memorize a speech or whatever, and uh, then they go there, they need to go through customers, they will ask you about your luggage, about your possessions, and you won't be able to answer it. And what do you think is going to happen? Do you think you will automatically, like osmotically absorb the language? It's not going to happen. It's yeah. not going to happen. It's just not. And, and actually, there's a, a, a risk. You said that it works the other way around, right? I saw people, um, you know, uh, getting completely, um, you know, the, unmotivated. No, I, I'm, I'm having trouble with this word, demotivated, uh, unmotivated, because they went abroad, they didn't improve their, language, their, their their speaking skills, and then they came back and they got to the conclusion that it's not for them, that they mm -hmm. don't. They're that. not intelligent enough for that. Because, you know, um, they did... The, 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 the best thing, quote unquote, the best thing you can do, you know, in order to learn the language, and it's not. It's just a fake popular uh, theory that if you go there and stay there two, two days, it's like you have been studying here for 10 years. That, that, that's just not true. Yeah. And uh, the more you know, in my experience, the more you know, the more you learn here, and there's a lot of stuff to learn from here. The more you know, the more you will enjoy the trip, improve what you already know because i'm mm -hmm. not saying that traveling is not good for your learning skills it's absolutely it absolutely it is yes. it is it is if you have i mean if you have the language structured in your mind yeah you know, then it's going to work um and it's going to work better if you know better and you're not going to waste money if you do that because honestly you you, you want to go to the yeah United wasting States, money that that is the point and be an intermediary speaker, come on. Yeah. If you're going to go there, go there to become fluent. And if you yeah. become fluent there, become an, a, you know, intermediate to advanced here. And it's totally possible, you know? Yeah. But that's actually what happened to us. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, so it is definitely a waste of money. People, they save like, like 10,000 Brazilian reals. 15,000, 20,000 Brazilian Rios to be able to have a trip like that. And then when they're back, they realize that they realize that it was just like some wasting waste of, money. of money. Yeah. Because you didn't enjoy the trip and you didn't learn as much as you were expecting. And it would it would have been different if you had learned here before. Like that some intermediate level is as is perfectly enough to yep. be able to get to a really good advanced level abroad. And we have, we, we've had this sort of case before on Nauer. We have students at Nauer that recently moved abroad and they have like this trip already scheduled and they had to do it. So I have like six to eight months to learn English and be able to, be able to survive out there, not to die. And they did it and now they're Oh, no, but now they're li they live abroad. Of course, they're speaking amazingly great because they, they live there. Yes, they live there. And it would, be, it, it would be unfair if I said that living abroad doesn't make you learn the language. That's just not true. Of course, it helps. But why are, why are they so good now? Because they knew something when they went there. Yes, they got prepared. They got prepared in advance. Yeah. So if you want to, if you want to travel, if you want to learn English ab abroad, do it. It's amazing. It's amazing. We've done it. We've both done it in the past. But study here before. Become good here, before, before yeah. you go. And actually, when you when you have a good level of English, you have op you have doors opened for you for um, experiences that you, would have, you wouldn't have been able to have access to if you didn't learn it before. Like in my case, the specific, uh, the specific program that I wanted to be part of uh, when I lived in the United States was something that it was only available to fluent, foreign, uh, fluent foreigners, so fluent English speakers outside the US. If I didn't learn English before going, I wouldn't have been able to be, be part of this group that I wanted to. So, you would probably have been uh, part of a class full of Brazilians, full of Brazilians, beginners, and yeah. I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much as I did. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. And uh, talking about enjoying, um, uh, a great benefit of learning English, I always say that, is that you become a citizen of the world. Yeah. You know, 
it's I think there were two countries I, I, I've been to a few countries in my life and I think there were only two of them in which the English language didn't help me as much as I expected which were those was China in Russia. Russia, I have a funny story there that I always tell, but I'm, I'm not going to tell it here. But, um, but, but yeah. still, if you went into, you know, to the young people, like, um, like you, you look at a 23 year old guy with a cap, you know, you look at that guy and you go, yeah, that guy watches friends. So you <laughs> look at that guy, you know, but, and uh, of course, they're, they're likely not to be fluent, but, but they will at least understand you. Um, and China is hard, but all the other, I, I, I've been to 33 countries and, uh, look at that out of, the, we, let, let me can we buy even do, it's much better to know the language before traveling, even if it is a little bit, very good. Yeah. Even if it, even if it is uh, a little bit, yeah, yeah, definitely. study, Great. study English before traveling, please. Before traveling. Yeah. Now with us on now so yeah, today uh, today yeah you can sign up today to enroll now. in an hour so yeah. first link first link at the description box is the um yeah. how can i how, how can you call it signing up page the role enrollment page, <laughs> sign up page right the, sign up subscription page can, yeah subscription yeah. page enrollment page so just yeah access the first link at the description box Anyways, out of the 33 countries that I've visited, um, English didn't help me in two of them. So all the other countries, you know, you become a citizen of the world. Um, I love, I love my native language. I love Portuguese. Honestly, I think it's a beautiful language. Um, it's but a I definitely have to hard it. language to learn. It's a hard language to learn. So, but you know, it, it has some, you know, it has some traits that that, that, that it has a loan, but uh, I have to be honest with myself. English is not a secondary issue anymore. It's not something that it's good if you have it, but it's fine if you don't. It's, 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 it, it, it hasn't been like that for a while now. Very few people realized it, and uh, it's going to be more and more mandatory. Yeah. Well, if, the I world mean, is getting even uh, more and more competitive, right? Yeah, exactly. I work, um, you know, on now I'm mainly responsible for the business English front. And uh, I see how, you know, the companies, they, they want to hire you. You just have to speak the language. They need you. They need that. They need people that know the language and they don't find it. It's impressive. It's impressive. Like. Nowadays, I think we have like five percent of the Brazilian population that can, you know, kind of, kind of knows. Yeah, exactly. You know, they can, um, uh, you know, they, they can kind of understand what they hear, and um, and they can talk back a little bit. One percent of fluent people, and less than one percent um, uh, that of uh, people that know actually you know, business English that are able to be part of a business meeting, you know, uh, very few people, very few people. And you can be part of that group of people, you know, it's not hard. That's the point. Um, it's, it's not like that because it's extremely hard to learn it. You know, it is, it is here. It's available. It's available. Yeah. The knowledge is actually, it's available to everybody, but I don't know. I don't know what, not everybody likes it not everybody sees the need of it but well maybe that's that relies on previous that we're here. Huh? i'm sorry i, I interrupted you no if, if, if you're part going. of the group that doesn't see the, the the need of english we're here to try to open your eyes because honestly you were late two years ago <laughs> <laughs> you were very late yeah <laughs> before, <laughs> before like yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Like you're dead or something right now. So. Yeah, just exactly. kidding. Just joking. <laughs> uh, no, I forgot. Okay. I forgot what what I was going to say. I forgot. I started saying something, but I forgot about it. Yeah. Oh, well, doesn't I matter. Know. Forget it. Anyways, oh, um, and work wise, you know, if it weren't mm. for the the English language, we wouldn't even have this job. So yeah, 
just <laughs> you know just for you guys you'd be watching you guys be watching something else by now because I, yeah. I'd be doing something else probably in yeah. Portuguese yeah exactly um, so anyways um, you know I was uh, I was the other day I was reading this book doing business in Brazil it is a book for um, for foreigners it's not for Brazilians it's for American well it was a re- it was written for an American it was written by an American guy that knows the the country but actually he, he probably knows the country better than me um and um it, it, i mean the, the 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 plot of the book is to explain to foreigners how, how how much they can you know how much they can thrive in brazil because it is a country full of uh, opportunity so you see yeah. that people are writing books about how brazil is you know it's um, fertile land for you to make money for you to get new jobs but you know it is being taught by English pe- by English speaking people they're coming here <laughs> yeah you know? they are you and they're, 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 they'll be looking for you yeah will you exactly. will you be will you be found or not <laughs> exactly will you be understood <laughs> will you un- be will you be understood yeah. so we hope so we hope yeah. so um, we um we spoke a little bit on entertainment and about traveling and job opportunities i mean it's 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 a cliche right talking about job opportunities of course you know that speaking english is good for your uh to, in order to sell yourself right mm-hmm. uh, learn knowing english is important uh, in order to help you find a job that's a cliche you know about that but there are some other psychological effects of knowing knowing English that many people are not aware of, like about self-esteem, about knowing that you are able to do something that it's a really tiny part of the population that was actually able to do, um, about feeling like you can do pretty much anything. I think that when you really get to a level that, okay, now I speak English, I've... Uh, I've I strove in order for this to happen. I studied a lot. I put a lot of effort into it, and now I speak English, and I can I can't understand what I listen to or whatever. It's it's so empowering. You feel like you can do pretty much anything. Like yeah. Of, oh, can you do this for me? Of course I can. I speak English. So this is this is a um, uh, this is a psychological. <laughs> of course I can. <laughs> this is called this is, this is some sort of psychological effect about feeling better about yourself feeling that you don't depend on anybody you can go to you go whatever without depending on anybody without having to uh, having to feel stressed under uh, tough situations uh, you feel good about yourself you feel empowered you feel like I did it Jesus I'm so damn good so Learning English is something that makes you feel better about yourself. So, uh, why isn't that something that people talk about looking forward to? Because it makes so much difference in a world that it looks like we're always losing and losing and losing and everybody wants to uh, win over us and we're always losing. Uh, we're losing politically, we're losing uh, relationships, we're losing... Uh, regarding this global issue that is happening right now because YouTube doesn't like that we say that word. Uh, we're always losing, so you have something to rely on that makes you feel like you're winning. You know? Yeah, but you know, you, you're, you're saying that from your perspective. Because, you know, uh, uh, Aristotle says something very interesting. He says, okay, let's get uh, philosophy. Yeah, yeah, sorry for that, but it's very, it's very interesting. He says, does the fish know it's wet? <laughs> and the answer, of course, is no until you take it off the water. Um, the point is, most people, now let's, uh, let's, let's use the analogy, you know? Being wet equals not knowing how important English is. People are missing the opportunities because uh, they, I, I think they haven't opened their eyes yet. We're here to open your eyes, to take you out of the water and show you how awesome. Dry. Is, you know, <laughs> huh? How dry it is to learn <laughs> the language, you know. Uh, honestly, guys, I, um, you know, I, I, I love uh, history and philosophy and they're 
there's so much material, so many articles that I read, uh, lectures that I listen to, you know, to, to, to enhance my study process. And uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have access to any of that. There is something in your life that you really like, um, you know, whose material you would have more access to if you spoke the language. And yep. uh, if you if you learn it, you, you, honestly, I, I never saw I've never seen anybody regretting having studied English, you know, never. Yeah. But I see the opposite almost every day. Yeah. Regretting not having learned, you know. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, what do you think? Um, what do you think? We answered some questions. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you guys want to ask questions? Everything said. The question. The person studying, someone studying four hours, hours a day, how likely is it to learn well in six months? Uh, I don't know if you expect us to give you a, a mathematical amount of, of English because that's not how it works. We cannot give yeah, you a like number. 62.5% of the language. language. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, yeah. with this consistency, you can learn a lot. I, I can say that after this uh, six months are gone, the hardest part is gone. I mean, the hardest part of like getting used to the language, start of noticing patterns, mm -hmm. being able yeah. to recognize and actually come to your own conclusions about what is happening uh, with the language. I think that this hardest part is gone. Are you fluent yet? Uh, I, I, I think you have a long ride ahead of you in order to become really proficient and really independent on the language. But uh, the hardest part is gone. You can get really good with this yeah, amount of English. Really with this amount of English, you're able to solve base, uh, like some sort of simple problems of your day-to-day -day life. You're able to translate to someone that needs help. You're able to watch things that you like, things that use vocabulary that is mean meaningful to you, meaningful to uh, hobbies that you have, maybe meaningful to your world. Uh, you're you're not going going to be able to translate uh, a medical procedure to a surgeon, but you'll be able to start using the language and enjoying it, enjoying everything that you've learned. But you have a long ride ahead of you. That's that's for sure. Yeah, and uh, I, th there's one thing I would like to add to that. Um, we're assuming uh, th the answer that Vinicius just gave you, Everton, is assuming that you will be studying in an efficient and effective way, you know, uh, four he's a, hours. He's a student. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, four hours a day of Duolingo doesn't, <laughs> you know, <laughs> doesn't help, you know. Yeah, okay. Four hours a day of reading the dictionary doesn't help. Yeah. You know? So uh, there are... Four really hours a day of Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and anyway. Um, but yeah, um, I, I think that um, that question is common, and uh, most of the times that I, 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 I'm asked something like that, I always say, you know, it depends. It depends on so many different, you know, um, variables because each person is a person. But four months of consistent studies. Yeah, you, you 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 can you, you can get it flowing, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. You, you can get it flowing, you guys, not fluent. Okay. You can get it flowing. Yeah. Get it flowing. Yeah, you he's can, talking. Yeah, he's you he's can talking about money. things working out. Yeah. <laughs> not, I'm talking not about you know having fluent and flowing. There's a difference between those yeah. words. Yeah. You can make the wheel spin. Um, uh, yeah. Let's uh, see. Uh, um, like his name. Can, can we answer his question? I like his name, Cosmo. Cosmo. Good afternoon for everybody. My name is Cosmo. I'm 55 years old. I live in Fortaleza City. In this moment, it's a great pleasure learning English with you. God bless you. All right. Okay. God Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Adriano said, learning English is feeling like you were born again and not just another language you learn. It's an incredible feeling. Yeah, it, it's like an, an, your very own persona that you're able to switch switch personalities with. It's and another dimension of your personality. Yeah, it's an alter ego that you, f you find out. 
that it was within yourself this whole time. I I have a different alter ego for each language that I speak. But I don't know why. It just happens because there are so many cultural differences, personality differences between the countries that speaks the uh, countries that speak the languages that I speak. So I think it's a little bit because of that. I try to imitate. I try to impersonate uh, the, their their mannerisms and their their characteristics, their personality, they, they their way of speaking. Like mm -hmm. if I start reading a sentence a sentence in 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 Italian, for instance, I can read it just like we would read it in Portuguese. Che è questa cosa? But I, but no, I want to do it the old-fashioned way. Che cos'è questa cosa? Ah, I've passed it. I'm cold, caspita. You know, because you're and impersonating. You automatically do this. Yeah, automatically. Jesus. <laughs> you know, uh, in this play that I play the main character that we're gonna we're gonna perform next year, I play an Italian character. <laughs> All the time. Che cosa? Che cosa succede? All the time. I'm loving it. No, you know, there's like you, you just um, you, you kind of summarized an article that I uh, read once um, that, 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 that actually um, explains why that happens. Um, you know, the language is a, is a cultural expression. Actually, it's one of the pillars of the culture. Uh, so when you learn a language, that's why language learning, the language learning is not just about you know, translating words from one language to another. Um, you, uh, when you when you learn the language in the proper way, you you start reflecting cultural aspects of the country in which that language is spoken. You know, so um, and and part of your personality, part of your uh, ego, you know, mm -hmm. actually ego is me in Greek. Um, part of your ego uh, is 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 also a side of your culture. You know, so for example, mm -hmm. we're Brazilian. The language we speak is not just you know the, the the amount of words it's our culture you know and uh when we, we turn that off um and we turn on the other language other traits all other cultural traits are going to start you know showing so um that's why it's kind of another personality you know it's um it's kind of another personality. yeah yeah and uh it's an alter ego <laughs> it's, a, it's a persona yeah. that you assume Look, Thirty is here. Um, you know, I had a, I had a, um, I had a Zoom call with her yesterday, and uh, that was the second time we talked. She's one of our students. When she started, she knew nothing. First time we talked, she couldn't speak a word. Yesterday, she talked about her entire family in English. You know, she's evolving in a way that I will. I told her I was impressed. Uh, by the end of the conversation, I told her, uh, I said, Tanya, what do you think? How did you, how do you think you went? She said, I think I went bad. And I said, no, uh, on the contrary, you did great, you know, compared to the last time, especially. Of course, there's still a uh, long path to, to follow, but, but she improved a lot. You know, it's an example of it's amazing. That, yeah. Within a year, she's going to be like, you know, singing Eminem's. <laughs> you know, one last one last thing about the benefits of nice moments that you have when you're when you speak English. Uh, we we're, were we're having a re rehearsal with our band a few weeks ago, and we were rehearse uh, we were having a rehearsal to play "Losing My Religion," and there's this part of the song that that they say. I think I thought I saw you try. There's, there's this line on the song. But I when I we're. I saw you try. I think I thought. I saw you try. Eu acho que eu pensei que eu vi você tentar. Yeah. Uh, and, but we, when we were singing for the first time, we weren't sure <laughs> of what the last verb of the sentence was. So I think I thought I saw you try, <laughs> try. Is it cry? I saw you cry or try. And then we started or bye <laughs> or sigh <laughs> or fly. <laughs> saw you fly. I I saw you mine. <laughs> you know. 
<laughs> I saw you spy. <laughs> I saw the last one. I saw you die. I saw you die. <laughs> you got your hand. <laughs> yeah. So this is some, this, uh, it's a joke that we had because uh, we we spoke English uh, at that group. Everybody there speaks English, so we were able to laugh at that because of that. And this wouldn't have happened if we didn't speak English. Uh, if there was someone there that didn't speak English, they would be like, what's so funny about it? Uh, I, you know? Yeah, so, this tiny experiences that you lose because you don't. Yes, I saw you, Ty. <laughs> there, there's a scene in Breaking Bad um, that there is uh, this uh, DEA agent and he's transferred to a city called El Paso in uh, mm. New Mexico, United States. Most people there speak Spanish and he didn't. And people would, you know, joke around and he would like <laughs> pretend he understood it just not to be out of the conversation, you know? Yeah, That's yeah. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Smile and hope it's not a question. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Smile and hope it's not a question. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah. So, uh, para finalizar o nosso bate-papo, é... A gente trocou uma ideia bem leve sobre alguns benefícios de falar inglês, momentos divertidos que você tem, tem acesso, oportunidades de trabalho e viagem, coisas que você passa a ser capaz de fazer através do idioma. Então, eu espero que isso tenha virado uma chave na cabeça de vocês, tenha dado uma motivada aí a seguir em frente. E lembrem-se, uh, dentro do Nauri, você tem, você tem total acompanhamento nosso para fazer isso, tem à disposição o nosso material, o nosso acompanhamento, as conversações com a gente, as nossas aulas ao vivo, o material já preparado, já gravado, tudo o que você precisa para chegar no avançado. O Nauer hoje com mais de 1.500 alunos que a gente acompanha de perto, que estudam lá dentro da plataforma e que hoje estão chegando à fluência em inglês. Muitos estão aqui no chat, como o próprio Everton, a Tânia, que apareceram aqui. Alunos que a gente viu começando... <risos> alunos que a gente viu começando do zero e hoje estão desenvolvendo super bem. Você pode ser o próximo. Então, as matrículas do Nauer estão disponíveis, inclusive com até... 24 vezes no boleto, tá bom? Então é a condição de matrícula mais tranquila que a gente já fez na história, você poder parcelar sua matrícula em 24 vezes no boleto. O primeiro link na descrição, logo abaixo desse vídeo aqui, é para você se matricular para o Nower. Se você tiver qualquer dúvida no processo, é só chamar a gente no WhatsApp, esse aqui é o nosso número de WhatsApp, printa aí a tela, anota aí no papel, 16997... Ah, tá, tá errado, perdão, deixa eu, deixa eu colocar o número certo. Não posso colocar o número errado, né? Tá um outro número aqui, é esse aqui, ó. 16997 Esse é o nosso número de atendimento do WhatsApp. É, o 7789 é outra coisa. É, então, se você quer tirar qualquer dúvida sobre sobre o seu processo de matrícula, perguntar pra gente alguma coisa que ainda esteja te segurando ah, eu preciso fazer de uma forma personalizada eu quero dar uma entrada no Pix, parcelar o resto no cartão só chamar a gente lá no WhatsApp que a gente te ajuda a fazer a sua matrícula para que você possa entrar no Nowhere ainda hoje, ok? Então, uh, vi o Vitor Leonardo mandou aqui apenas sorriam e acenem, rapazes sorriam e acenem eu quero ajudar, capitão <risos> Muito bem. Arthur, valeu hein, mais uma vez pela, pela parceria. Valeu mais uma vez pelo convite. Thanks again oh, for the invitation. A Edinalva comentou, boa noite, quero fazer pelo boleto, mas não tem essa opção. Edinalva, tem sim, é só você entrar lá na página de matrícula e aí você vai poder avançar lá, preencher o seu nome para poder iniciar o processo e aí você vai escolher a sua forma de pagamento para fazer a matrícula. À vista, parcelado no cartão, parcelado no boleto, por Pix, todas as informações estão lá certinho para você poder escolher se matricular. Qualquer dúvida no processo, não tem problema, é só chamar a gente aqui no WhatsApp que a gente ajuda. Tudo bem? Então, bons estudos para vocês, a gente, a gente espera vocês no portal, espera no Nower. Matrículas disponíveis até 24 vezes no boleto, tá tranquilo demais, então aproveitem essa chance, beleza? Valeu, pessoal. Tchau, gente. Tamo junto e até amanhã.